So hello guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to install this add-on in the directal panel. So what does this panel, so what does this do is like it helps you to manage your world and also install other worlds which are provided into this add-on. So this is the same developer as the plugin installer. Okay, you will be needing is your panel referral, sorry, the directal panel and a blueprint installed on your panel so if you have not installed or have don't have a machine yet you can get it from zap hosting or any other hosting providers okay and i have the videos on my channel so let's get into the installation if you have everything installed before the blueprint and all then it's easier okay so first thing first you have to download this resource i have already downloaded it here okay this is the zip file you can open any of the uh, readme file it can be the uh, html file or the pdf okay it's the same so you need to go and install the blueprint okay we have already installed it on this machine which i'm gonna do it if you have not watched that video you can watch that video how to install blueprint okay now you need to go to this location and put that file in that location i'm already in the location i've already logged into my machine okay so i'm gonna go back go to my zip file okay drag and drop this file over here keep in mind that you don't drop it into a folder it will not install if you do that okay so we have uploaded it okay and then we have to copy this command so that it takes place and the plugins get the add-on get installed So it will download all the dependencies and it will ask you for the migration of the database if not it will directly continue so as you can see the installation was successful now we go back to our panel okay go to the admin area go to the extensions and we do the and we go to minecraft world manager we put the api key okay so i had generated my api key already so i use the same one you can generate your own api key okay you can regenerate also over here so i'm gonna go and paste that api key here okay so that's it the api is generated and we put it in here now we go back to our server Okay, click here and then we go to worlds so when you come back to your worlds holder it will show you this is the world okay and we have the latest version so you can just download the world here okay and we downloaded the one block world okay so it will install it for you the world okay as we have seen here so if you just press download here it will install it so looking at the version of it let's check which version of the microsoft it's using let it start before that we can then run the version command So the version is 20.6 oh we installed the wrong version of the world so we just turn it off okay and we install this one so it is installed it's scheduled for installation and it will be installed so if we go here as you can see it's installed okay here the readme okay and you can read this all the stuff what is there there is a youtube video also okay about how and what to do okay so it is really easy and what 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 you need everything will be there in that folder and you need to do some changes in your file here whatever uh, like um which world you want to 
join and what what world they want you to join to okay your players for example it by default it's said it is set to world okay if you see here so world okay name level world so if you want to do it as like the different world then you can do it in different world too so everything will be given in that folder over there okay this folder okay how it's to done and how everything works over here all the data packs and all will be installed by the developer so this was it for your world manager you can delete okay make it default over also over here see we made it as default and it will do some changes in your server properties if i'm not wrong so let's just you see the name is changed over here so this was it for this video and everything will be done uh, all the dependencies and all will be done by this add-on only okay but you need to see first the documentation otherwise you will see the error like how it went before that okay so you need to read all the files over there in that before starting the server so that you know you don't have any issues with the world later on so this is the readme file you need to read this combines all the other stuff so that's what it is so that was it for this video i will see you in the next video till then tata bye bye